a very creative situation. And I think he did believe, genuinely did believe in that. I think he believed in the group very, very much. Bernie was, uh, I called it an intellectual of fashion and the zeitgeist. When I went to his house in Camden, he had an empty room and in the room were these piles of magazines, uh, Marxist Today mainly, and they were piled up high, so about two foot high, and he used those instead of chairs. Compared to Malcolm McLaren, Bernie was the real deal. He was the one who was kind of fueling McLaren, who was a bit of a dilettante and would flit onto the next thing, but a lot of that was Bernie. Bernie came up with the name The Sex Pistols. For a few months, he had to sort of sit there while McLaren took The Pistols to become the most notorious band in the country. Bernie Rhodes, to me, is like Emperor's New Clothes. He, he's just someone who's pumped himself up into something that he wasn't really, as a person, as a man, as a manager. He, he, he's very much always sort of on the coattails of Malcolm McLaren, trying to copy his way, but without the finesse, without the charm, and without the artistic vision. But he wanted a band that would almost be his mouthpiece. Hey, 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 hey. 